So what do we believe? Well, we believe in uh, being good. So basically, we're good people. <laughs> yeah, but we're not practicing. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. That's right. Fuck. Fuck you. You. Yes. You. 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 All y'all. Taking none of that. Everybody, Roger here. I want to talk to you guys today about this upcoming season premiere, uh, first season of The Connors, and um, all the drama behind it. So, in case anybody's been living under a rock, I'll go ahead and reiterate what initially happened last June, uh, about three or four months ago. Roseanne Barr, uh, Roseanne Connor in the show, had uh, composed a tweet one night comparing... Um, extremist leftist Valerie Jarrett, uh, who is known for causing a lot of chaos around the world, being part and circle uh, of a lot of people who basically bring America down. And currently, currently also is saying, believe women, this is good, we're changing things. Her last tweet was something about, we're gonna change the world for women. You know, we, we understand that that we have to believe and, the, and change is coming. And I'm like, oh, get the fuck, Get the fuck out of here, lady. You know, <clears throat> due process and law. Nothing will ever replace that. Nothing will ever replace that. And if you think that just believing people will, yeah, look at all the people. Look look at the woman who, just for one example before I get, get off into left field, that one woman who basically said this officer raped her and, and did all these things to her. And, and um, who is that? Talcum X guy, Sean King, wrote or, or posted that tweet. I posted a tweet about it saying that, you know, it's injustice, you know, she's one of my friends, and, you know, he knew her personally, apparently. And uh, and then five minutes later, he deleted the tweet because they found out it was a lie. Don't always believe women. So anyways, yeah, so, Valerie Jarrett, <clears throat> one of America's worst enemies, to be honest, uh, was compared by Roseanne in a tweet to a uh, Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes monkey, a monkey person character. I'm trying to talk about Valerie Jarrett wrote the Iran deal. I know, but you've told me this 300 times. Do you know that a... That's know, what my tweet was about. I, now, I'm going to go out and just basically put it out there. I do not believe this was a racist tweet. It was hysterical because that, that character did look like Valerie Jarrett. Had nothing to do with the fact that she was black. Especially when Roseanne herself came out and said... I didn't know she was black. She doesn't look black. She doesn't. She, you know, I, I don't know what even to categorize her at. If I was to look at her, I'm, I'm, I looked at her just recently. She looks more or less like she's a cross between maybe white or French, white, uh, French slash um, uh, Middle Eastern. I don't know. She just she looks different. She doesn't look black at all. It's disgusting the way we treat humans. So. Anyways, Roseanne, or, or, or one of the very first people, if not the very first person that wrote a reaction tweet after Roseanne posted this, uh, that Valerie Jarrett tweet, uh, was uh, Sarah Gilbert. Sarah Gilbert say, oh, this is totally not reflective of all, all of us as a whole. I, I can't believe Roseanne wrote something like this. Something to that extent, some bullshit fucking line. Deal with it, Dorothy. <laughs> Or else I'll use those pigtails to steer while I ride your hillbilly ass all over this island. <laughs> and then from there, ABC immediately canceled the show. No questions asked, not asking Roseanne what it was about, uh, just, just canceling the show. So again, we're, lead we're, we're heading into a world, and again, it's their own company. The ABC is its own private entity. They can do what the fuck they want, of course. I'm not, I'm not fighting that. But... It's very hypocritical with a lot of the other people that they do have on their channel um, and the values, it shows what kind of values they hold. The values they hold is, you know, you, whatever we deem, without even asking you, whatever we deem is offensive, we're going to go ahead and just hold you accountable for it and we'll, we'll create chaos all around you from it. So, do I think that uh, the punishment was overboard? Yes. Do I think that ABC should have also talked to um, Roseanne initially to find out, hey, you know, what did you mean by this? Yes. Uh, should they have done that? Yes. Uh, should Sarah Gilbert have kept her ass out of the way from this and stopped posting a tweet that only engulfed the flames of something that could have been easily explained? Yes. She should have fucking stopped. Do I think that ABC is 
uh, 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 wrong or right in, in, in their desire to cancel the show. It's their total decision. I really am very neutral to it. They can do what they want. It was a great show. I ended up watching it about a week or so after it had aired. And, um, you know, it took me like a four or five hour uh, Saturday or Sunday morning, I can't remember, a couple months back. And I'm like, wow, this is actually a great show. Roseanne actually still has it in her. She's, she's a great actress. Everybody in there was a great, great. But then you also know, you know, the, there was a lot of leftist executive producers in there, like uh, Wanda Sykes. I was shocked. I couldn't believe that Donald Trump won. I couldn't believe that Donald Trump won. I mean, I couldn't believe that we elected an orangutan from the country. I couldn't believe it. Are you fucking kidding me? We voted, they voted for an orangutan? They voted for an orangutan? They voted for an orangutan? This is ridiculous. <laughs> After the election, I was, I was going around consoling people. I said, guys, look on the bright side. Look at this. I was telling everybody, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I was like, I am certain this is not the first time We've elected a racist, sexist, homophobic president. This, this, he ain't the first one. He's just the first confirmed one. That's it. Wow. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. That's right. Fuck, fuck you, you, yes. you, 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 you. All y'all. Uh, the aforementioned um, uh, uh, Sarah Gilbert, among others. And... I think they took this as an opportunity. They probably just didn't like the woman. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But Roseanne was heartbroken. You know, sincerely heartbroken. You can always tell when somebody's sincerely heartbroken just by their reaction afterwards. She took full responsibility of all this. Um, you know, she, she, she told her fans, hey, you know, for those of you saying, you know, that you're defending me and stuff, just, just stop, you know, just... I'll handle it myself, and I'll take ownership of everything. So Roseanne owned up to all of it, owned up to all of it, like a real human being. She owned up to all of it, and I respect her for that. Yeah, you know, was it in poor taste? I don't know. I thought it was fucking hilarious, to be honest. Yeah, it was a good comparison. I mean, who else would go out on a limb and, and compare, you know, <laughs> to a T, you know, another one person looking like another person or looking like a character? It was funny. It was funny as fuck, and it was not racist it was not racist and then it brought up this whole escapade all summer about you know uh, black people being compared to monkeys well who are the real racists the ones that actually assume that that's what i think because i don't ever look at people like that it's like what the fuck it's stupid if you look if look if i look like a fucking mule or a donkey or a rabbit you know people used to call me roger rabbit um I don't give a fuck, whatever, it is what it is, you know, I look like something, or I, I look off, whatever, we're all human, we all have the, we all look like something, um, we can be compared to something, and it's how you take it as an individual. Roseanne apologized to Valerie Jarrett, and uh, I'm not sure if Valerie ever accepted the, the apology or not, but she did come out and vocalize and say that things need to change, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, anyways, uh, Mrs. Valerie Jarrett, kind of responsible for, uh, partly responsible for, um, um, the current slave trade in Libya for one thing and you guys want to defend her so yeah go for it yeah whatever I don't know what's worse you know calling calling somebody telling saying that someone looks like a character from Planet of the Apes and then assume it's racist assume it's racist or actually being a racist and actually going uh, 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 bring down Libya from actually a decent uh, still shaky but decent leadership uh, to 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 actually now having it to where black people try to go through all black people from Africa will go through Africans will go through try to try to make it outside of Libya but sometimes they get captured and they get put into the slave trade here so I don't know what's worse I think the latter to be honest and it's more racist to actually just throw that out the window and sh and you know push your face and nose up in the air out of the way like it's nothing so I think that's racist. Or, it's not even racist, it's just worse of the two. Is it because she's black? It is, isn't it? Well, you'll be mad if I say yes. No, we won't. Yes, we will. <laughs> I didn't raise you to be some little bigot. I just don't want to kiss her. Hey, black people are just like us. They're every bit as good as us, and any people who don't think so is just a bunch of banjo-picking, cousin-dating, barefoot, <laughs> embarrassments to respect white trash like us. At least now I know where he gets it. I'm not a racist. 
Yeah, and neither's your father. He always says he has no problem with the colors. I'm not my father. If I knew you was going to be passing down your family's crap to my kids, I would not be having another one with you. Yeah, well, DJ's got it easy. I'm supposed to kiss you tonight. <laughs> I hate white people. So anyways, the Connors. The Connors is going to show up. That, 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 all that stuff was just a preface to what I'm about to say here. The Connors is going to debut. There was a People Interview magazine, or People Magazine interview, with uh, some of the castmates, some of the cast members, Laurie Metcalf, John Goodman, and, and uh, Sarah Gilbert. I'm pretty sure there was another person in there. I can't remember. All of them were basically saying, oh yeah, we've reached out to Roseanne, and it's going to be so different. And then Laurie Metcalf ended up saying something so fucking stupid. She said, she shouldn't even have said it because it just canceled itself out. She's like... At, you know, we saw that it was a good thing, but a bad thing. You know, it was a, a negative thing, but a positive thing. I'm like, okay, well, why why the fuck waste words? Why the fuck waste words? I'm doing it right now, probably. <laughs> but anyways, um, the whole interview was stupid. And then Sarah and Lori had said, you know, they had reached out to Roseanne, but Roseanne has not reached back. It's like, well, look what the fuck you did, Sarah. I mean, you, you know, you executively produced this show. You executively produced, produced The View. You go on a tangent immediately after this tweet was done. You're one of the first people to see it. And you, you catapulted this thing from actually being probably nothing that you could have contacted Roseanne about and said, hey, you know, what did you mean by this? Uh, instead, you had to blow it all up and make it seem like it was something that, oh, my God, this is a total attack on this woman. And yet you're never questioning the attacks of Valerie Jarrett, you know, and she was part of all of these things that she's been a part of under the Obama administration, under under a lot of other things. So, so yeah, you, you know, I see where your priorities are at, woman. So, it's just fucking stupid. So, from there, what do I think about the Connors? I'm not going to watch it. I will probably listen from a side and probably in passing see uh, a YouTube clip about them discussing Roseanne, uh, Roseanne's non-screen death, whatever, uh, and, 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 and just read up maybe an article about it after it happens, but I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything else beyond that. I may comment on it, but <clears throat> I think your show's going to fucking tank. You're going to realize there was a lot of people, what made this show successful was the fact that it, it tried to reach out, it tried to bridge both, uh, the left and the right and all in between and, and show that people can get along get along all together and granted you were part of the, Sarah Gilbert you were part of that uh, creation so was Wanda Sykes as a produ as an executive producer as well um, and I believe a partial writer I'm not sure fuck you you yes you you you, 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 you. all y'all but you got you brought in you brought in some good ideas that would that that in terms of entertainment and how entertainment can influence people could bring about a positive change and trying to merge people together. And for some reason, this little fucking tweet changed all that. It made it to where, you no, know, you know, this was short-lived and it looks like it's not going to be something that's going to group people together. I mean, you guys broke records. I mean, you made Will and Grace look like fucking Smurfs. You know, it, it, uh, their premiere looked like Smurfs. You guys did, what, two or three times more um, uh, audience numbers than they did throughout the whole thing? I mean, you were relatable. You were relatable in a time where we all needed something like that. Where everybody is just biting each other's throats. I'm not sure. It seems like there's some, some sort of other undertone here. They're just waiting for an opportunity like this to happen. I don't know. Overall, Roseanne did start this. She did start this, but every, you know, and it, what, all that needed to happen was a simple explanation. Not this out of proportion thing that Sarah Gilbert helped catapult into stupidity. So I'm not going to watch it. I think it's going to tank. I hope it tanks. Um, and and I'll go from there. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you think about this whole Roseanne, Valerie Jarrett, uh, Sarah Gilbert, The Connors uh, TV show? What do you guys think about that? Uh, will you be watching? Will you be uh, avoiding it? Uh, do you think it's going to tank? Any other thoughts about it? Anyways, I would really love to hear it all. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Peace out. I thought the bitch was white! God damn it! I thought the bitch was white! <laughs> Fuck! I hate white people. <laughs>